Welcome to the 7 Days to Die Mod Launcher. To get started, navigate to the 72dlauncher.org and click on the Download Launcher link. Verify the publisher, Sphere2 Software, and click on Install. This will download the program and install a desktop shortcut. The launcher has two modes to use, Advanced and Simple. Advanced will make a copy of the 7 Days to Die folder for each mod you want to play. This takes up more disk space, but it makes sure there's no conflicts in between the mods. Simple version will allow you to reuse your Steam folder and install the mods there. In this example, we'll be using the Advanced. Go up into File and click load defaults. These are already some preset mods that we have including the Forum Fanatic servers and Valmods expansion and overhaul. Let's click on Valmods expansion mod. Since this is the first time we're running the launcher we need to specify which folder we want to install at. In my case I'm going to make a new folder called My Mods. All the mods will be downloaded and installed here. There's two ways to get a copy of the game. You can either download from Steam by specifying your username and password, or you can copy from an existing copy. In my case, I'll be using the Steam version of Seven Days to Die. I'll press the copy. As you can see, you're copying over to My Mods. Once it's down, downloading you can hit play. This will go to grab the latest version of the mods from Valmod and install them into the Valmod Valmod expansion mods. It will then launch the game like normal. Click on New Game and Valmod Expansion. As you can see, the Valmod expansion mod is installed. Your vanilla version of the Steam is still intact. And now you have a completely isolated environment. We're going to quit out, and we can do the same thing for the Valmod's overhaul. We're going to make a copy from the existing copy. And this time you'll notice it's under Valmod, Valmod's Overhaul. We're going to press play. And it's downloading the new mods for that. And as you can see, this is the Valmod Overhaul mod.